You know, I sat down with my accountant. He said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look. Sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bait. You can't negotiate with Drake. You gon' have to pay for wait. Jugging on the main stage, the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. Sometimes I need a vacation. Meditate, hydrate, protect my energy before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you lay. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cleveland Browns and the Jacksonville Jaguars. starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. is Hunt. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. out of the gun. Love. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? You know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. So now it's third and long. Because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. to throw it. Going up top for Miller. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. 
They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, 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 nine route? Start, nine meaning go? Start, Just went kid. ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. You got to start, I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this Got time. Blocked. Doesn't Got mean blocked. we won't try it again later. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. At the 19. This is Geis. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. The coverage unit out there thinking pass on third and three. Foster. They'll try and get it with Geis. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And a timeout called defensively by the Browns. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. And they'll try the option on first and goal. Into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They run with Geis. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Jags have taken the early lead. And this is up and good. The score now 7 0 Jaguars. Makes the score Jaguars 7. Brown. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Nice. And this will make it into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Hello? All right, all right, hold on. The Browns drive about to get started. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 to score as they start first and 10. Going deep this time for Miller. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on. Hold on, Mikey. Hold on. Trying to let me be great. Appreciate that, Mikey. First down, but he couldn't reel it in. Be great for Scotty Miller. Hold on. Incomplete. I don't need that. Here, but Brings up second and ten at the twenty-yard line. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the twenty. Hunt. Oh, he's got some breathing room. 
And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field. And they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? Not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Give him seven on the play, and it'll be a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Got a man, that's Richie James. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Love from the gun. He's going to wind up and air it out. Ooh, and this shot. is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. Oh, when you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And yeah, the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. 18 yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. Second down, this is Madison, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. At his 48-yard line. And now that is nine sacks for him. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Browns will take over first and 10. 29 yard line. That's the reason you ball for circle around twice with the encore. If you know, you know.
The Browns drive about to get started. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Being chased out left. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Well, my initial thought was that maybe he was just trying to blindly throw this one away, and maybe he was. But he's going to get away with it because as he tried to throw it over the left sideline there, there's a receiver right there in the area. So no grounding call. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Throwing. Love. Setting up the screen wow. for Miller. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Jaguars go on offense, first down and ten. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Obi Melifonwu with the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now on second and 16, Bridgewater caught by the tight end Ertz. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Quickly to the outside, that's caught by Lamb. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him nine there on the first down completion. The 39-yard line. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. A quick throw out to Adams on the perimeter. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. It's fourth down.
A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. That's to his running back complete. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you pumped the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. Brings up second and the run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Love. Going up top for Miller. That's, That's crazy. caught inside the 20. That's crazy. And thing. all the way in. Man, touchdown, Cleveland. Scotty Miller, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14 7 ball game. Makes the score Browns 14. Jaguars seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a first down on a gain of 10. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. And that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. His throw caught right around the six. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Jaguars first down. First and goal at the six-yard line. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. This is caught, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Zach Ertz, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. This one yeah. tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is how you block in. Well, that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. Number first and ten at their own 25-yard line. I worked out high there. So, I don't want to see what's served with that I heard my voice at all post right now. The Browns drive yeah. about to get started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play time? this. I think we'll find out just how right. much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. One thing that often...
offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball. You're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Got to fuck around with that 15. Okay. A second down throw for Love. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Let me see. Tight end Irv Smith, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put a second down out of there. Two, one goes for Aaron, one goes for this. I'm going to go for this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can wrap him. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Well, he probably did. He probably did this shit. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Going deep this time for Miller. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Look at how good it is. Here's Tressway now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. They'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll run with Geis. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59, 59. Looking to throw on second down. Bridgewater looking deep for his touch. That's caught at the 25. They get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. That one good for 37 yards. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field. And how about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield. A combination of talent and toughness to go into the Briar Patch. And the offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come up on a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. From the 21, it's second and 10. They'll run it with Madison. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And it looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Bridgewater. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Inside four minutes to go. Third quarter. Bridgewater on first down. 
And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, and that'll bring up second down. Back to the ground game now with Geis. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Again, they run. Again, it's Geis. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Jaguars have moved out in front. And his kick is good. Yeah. Makes the score oh, Jaguars 21, Browns 14. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Huh? And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching it point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. From the gun, Love. And he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On play action. Love to throw. Oh, my God. Escaping the pressure right, and that's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Oh, I got Chase. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Throwing again. Love. Hayden. Forced out to his left. And he's going to keep it here. Oh, he's trying to cut it. Fuck, I said time. Oh. They get the guard out of Georgia Tech, Shaq Mason. Tell you what. Now, after the holding call, here's second and 20. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Third and long for Love. The catch made by Miller. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the run, this is Hunt. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt. His second touchdown of the night. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. 
And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20 yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. You must, you must be getting tired of seeing me. Switch, switch, switch. Going on the ground with Madison. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. A gain of a yard brings up third and seven. On third down, Bridgewater. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back now in Jacksonville. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Some pretty good games all weekend. We may have saved the best for last. This Monday night game has been a dandy. A quick throw here out to Brown. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. A.J. Brown. No gain on the play. Second and ten. At their 49 yard. They'll run with Madison. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns 41. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Third down, here's Geis. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. A loss of a yard. It's fourth down. Fourth down, they're going. Bridgewater. And Adams has it. Good play. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. A first down throw for Bridgewater. This shit to be. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback no, no, out of the backfield. No, no, no. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. The they were trying to reduce the clock get in position to win the game and leave no time for them to come back and catch him. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll run again with Hunt. And this looks a lot like the last play. Behind the line of scrimmage, he's tackled for the second straight go-around. Great job by this Jacksonville D. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. out of the gun. Love. And he completes it to Hunt. And he's not going to get the first down. He had to get to the 30, but he's a yard or two short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Try to run for it. 
And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. Kareem Hunt stops short of the sticks. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here of the turnover on downs. On first and ten, Bridgewater. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Reuben Foster, the former national champion at Alabama, gets in for the sack. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Bridgewater, the left side throw complete to Adams. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. 10 at the 47-yard line. Water now looking to throw on first. And this one quickly to Lamb. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 24. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. On the ground, it's Geis. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. That's a gain of three. It's third and seven. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Stinky butt. Stinky butt. Let him, let him do his thing. He's trying to get your Christmas right. Get out of there. Come on. Stop being Jones like that. Jaguar football here as we oh, welcome boy, you back. Yeah. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw Bridgewater. They'll check it down to Geis. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I think he's out of here, man. Maybe he's looking for that. Uh, just outside the yeah, tent. Yeah. No, 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 no worry. No, 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 no. First and ten at the 11. First down, this is Geis. And he oh, takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Taking it in for 11 yards out. And the Jaguars have moved out in front. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, it's a long way to go in this game. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now. On the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. Boy, that's a big score right there to give me advantage. on the return. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Ooh. Here's the execution. And yeah. that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. They'll probably 
probably spent a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to our third and three. Love looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The pick up there, five yards. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Love. He loves his pressure. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it, and he goes out, and the ball comes out. Love lost it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Play action this time with Love. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding where they're on the field. Here's Love. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. Nice. That's a clock to stop with 35 seconds left to go. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Back to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Yeah. And, oh, a crusher there oh. as it's intercepted. <laughs> <laughs> it you can catch me in a long time. So we're in Dago. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to the good with my next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively. Well, but we don't need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First and 10 at the 40. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way yeah, that you finish, man. that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So for the Jags, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 6-3 and three on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the 49ers will come to town. Meanwhile, for the Browns, the loss will drop them to 6-3 and three now on the year. And they'll get a home date next week against the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
climb the heart of the fire, but how did you get up? I done got rich and went broke, then got rich again, just a little hiccup. I did be bottom this pickup. Remember me being so bummy and being so hungry, I had these grips. Ay, how did the lady go miss? Ay, how she with magic, she mixed. Met her at one of the functions, we caught a little rhythm. She caught up a friend that kissed and we did it, and that's how we do it. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I asked. Can I? Before I went live, ain't know what I put. Ain't no one alive to do what I thought. Sorry, I was just playing. I hate when it does this shit. 